We're going to start out in Minnow Lake and then we're going to move on to Haynes Lake where there are six geocaches we're going to target. And if we get them all, that's excellent. If we don't, there's still the adventure to get there. Come along. The first cache is on a small rock just ahead. I'm going to go around it and see if we can spot it from the shore. It has to be on this one because these ones would have been underwater. You can see the high water mark there. Yeah, and these ones are below the high water mark. So it would have to be up on top of that. Hmm. Looks like Mount Everest. Aha. Did you see a geopile? Found it. Suspicious pile of rocks on a rock. <laughs> 11 meters. Oh. We get lucky on the next one, and there's a sandy shore right here. It's like a beach. We've uh, marooned ourselves. No, no, we're, we're just going to stop and get the cash. It's hanging in a tree. She's got it. Well, cam out. How did you see that? Very, very carefully. <laughs> yeah, it's nice and dry. No, I had to really look. Yeah. Nice container. And look at that camo. Wow. It really blends in well. The one that we found uh, the last night was like this. And it was supposed to be hanging in a tree, but it was on the ground. And it was so hard to see. I just happened to look down and it just looked odd with this uh, smooth surface sitting on the stones. It was amazing and I found it. I was really proud of myself. Next one is number three, and it's 300 meters. Which way? Out way. That way. And she got it, going right up to the lone pine tree on the corner. That's number three. Haynes Island. It's a two five and it's a regular. And we're within six meters. I got a, some stuff over here that doesn't look right. No. Hmm. A pile of rocks by a root. There's a very suspicious pile of rocks. Must be it. Absolutely, that's it. Nice. Found it. <laughs> nice dry log sheet. And, uh, oh, there is a golf ball and there's a button by the camping couple. We already have their button, so we don't need that. And a reflector and a Power Ranger or something like that. Let's get her signed up and get back into the kayak. And we've come up with two possible names. Bobby for bobbing around in the water and Cece. Cece, Cash Canada. Let us know. What do you think? I 
think I see where it is. Right there, there's a couple of rocks piled up. Aha! Uh -huh. I heard an aha. Uh -huh. The clever man found it. Sweet! Got it, awesome. Cool, let's uh, sign that in. Hey, look at that, a cute little teddy bear. And explore BC. And that's what we're doing, exploring British Columbia. One geocache at a time. Got it. <laughs> we almost had to go for a swim because our, our kayak was over there. But uh, Bobby, your CC, whatever we're gonna call it, came to meet us at this next beach. <laughs> Good thing it came back in and didn't just go away. That was a long lost cache. It hasn't been found in two years. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And that was the last cache we're gonna find on the lake today. Uh, one of them we had to kind of bypass because there's some campers there and we didn't want to disturb them. Yes. Yes, so thanks for joining us here in British Columbia as we go caching by kayak for geocaches. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you?